One hour has passed since we finished off the crippled medium cargo. Despite the massive sea swells, morale on U-531 is relatively high. We managed to sink two freighters from the enemy convoy and lived to tell the tale. Alone, that is a cause for celebration. U-531 continues her journey to U-4A8, where we will take on supplies. The rendezvous point is currently 3,640 kilometers away. We still have a long ways to go. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Silent Hunter 3 series as we continue to try to make it back to U-488 where we will resupply the boat. Now if some of you haven't noticed already, I am currently using a new microphone which I recently acquired. And this is the first video I'm uploading using the new microphone as well, so that is pretty exciting. So I am definitely looking for feedback on how it actually sounds. Thus far, I think I got it sounding pretty good, definitely better than what I had previously, um, but it still does need some fine tuning. Uh, it is a new XLR microphone, so it is a little bit of a learning curve for me, but uh, that makes it just that more exciting in my opinion. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way because uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it obviously sounds a wee bit different. And as you can see, U531 is currently enduring quite uh, brutal sea conditions at the moment. These waves have been overlapping the conning tower quite frequently here. It is one hour after our last encounter with the uh, medium merchant ship, which we had to torpedo and finish off. We are in the middle of repairing our flat gun, as you can see, which was damaged by gunfire from a merchant ship while we were infiltrating the convoy. Uh, the torpedo situation is pretty grim. We have three forward bow torpedoes. Uh, three forward bow, three forward torpedoes, and uh, it looks like they're all T1 fats, which is not great because these will leave a bubble trail as they are propelled by gas. We also have a T3 in the aft tubes and two external reserves. However, these are not going to be able to be reloaded in this weather. And honestly, I don't feel very comfortable reloading these torpedoes this close to Freetown anyway. We still have quite a while to go before we even rendezvous with U488. Fuel is uh, getting pretty low as well. We're down to around 25%. We should have enough, more than enough to make it to uh, our U-Tanker. And even if our U-Tanker can't top us off, we have Max Albrecht here where we can uh, refuel at to get to Lorient. So uh, that is a backup option just in case things get really bad. But I'm hoping U-488 will at least be able to uh, give us half of our fuel back. If we get to 50%, we should be a-okay to patrol around the North Atlantic and to make it back home to Lorient. Let's go ahead and check our crew. As you can see, I have two guys working on the flat guns in these sea conditions. <laughs> uh, that must be awful, but uh, I'm sure they're managing, it seems. Um, might as well repair them now. A lot of my crew is fairly tired after that attack. Uh, we were up all night getting depth charged and all that jazz, as uh, you all probably recall from the last episode. It was quite an exciting episode, if I do say so myself. Well, I think that's really all I have to say for the time being. Um, I'm picking up right where I left off, which is pretty rare for me, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to turn on my radar as well. Let's go ahead and turn that bad boy on. We, like I said, we just sunk this ship, so I want to be on the lookout for any enemy warships that happen to be patrolling the area. And that thing, let's see, is our radio operator. He's pretty tired. Let's try to find someone who feels like actually scanning the horizon with the radar. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's get that other guy some sleep. So, well, currently, we're currently making seven yeah, knots through these rough seas. I just want to go ahead and touch base on pretty much everything here. Clouds overcast, heavy, wind direction, uh, 15 meter, wind speed, 15 meters per second, direction, 139 degrees. So, we're pretty much heading straight into the wind here. Yeah, more or less. Not, yeah, so that's going to cause some issues for us. Definitely going to slow us down here. Well, hopefully the weather clears up soon and it'll be smooth sailing all the way to U-488, and hopefully we can keep our luck up. Uh, that's all I have for my pre-ramble. I'm going to go ahead and cut now and get back to you folks very shortly. All 
Okay, just a brief update on the current situation. It's currently October 8th, 1943, and as you can see, the seas are nice and calm compared to what we have been experiencing the past few days. We are fairly close to our U-Tanker, so I bumped our speed up to standard speed. We're currently making 13, 14 knots because I do want to get there before weather conditions get worse once again. It's going to take us uh, 40 hours to reach our destination. Hopefully the weather will hold. I'm, I'm ho hoping, I'm holding out hope. I know that's probably a foolish thing to do with these uh, North Atlantic weather patterns, but here we are. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and burn our fuel now. I could bump us up to full, but I don't see a need to do that. Uh, we'll just go standard. We should have more than enough fuel to make it to our destination. Let's actually get a navigator on station and, um, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh no. Um, let's see, range, maximum range at current speed. Maximum range is 2,385 kilometers and our destination is only 1,022 kilometers away, so we have more than enough fuel. Okay, and everyone's just chatting away now. Let's get this guy back and sleep. The crew is slowly getting back up to speed here. Um, we just got, got out of that really bad storm that is to the south of us now, so I'm thankful for that. Lower that scope. Okay, so that is really the current situation as it stands. I will keep you guys updated as we close in on our U-Tanker. Okay, we've spotted our U-Tanker dead ahead. I don't know if you folks can even see that. Silhouette's pretty low on the water, but she's at uh, 003 degrees. Range is two kilometers out, and we are closing in on it. The waves are not great. Uh, they are choppier than when we last spoke. There's a little bit of foam forming here, but they're not awful. I do think we will still be able to uh, transfer supplies as we close here. Oh, it's pretty windy, though, and it's nighttime. These probably not the safest conditions uh to refuel and restock on supplies here but beggars can't be choosers i suppose we're gonna pull up right next to u466 u488 excuse me all right we're right next to her there she is all stop okay we're gonna go ahead and Exit patrol and continue mission. Okay, repairs and refueling at U-Tank are finished. Two torpedoes loaded. We still have hull damage, obviously. And we should have fuel. Fuel is at 40%. That is good enough. Good enough for me. I said I'd be very happy with 50%. 40% is, uh, you know what? I, <laughs> I am just fine with that. That is fantastic. Okay, let's get the hell out of here before any carrier born aircraft come and uh, blow me to smithereens i've decided i'm going to patrol grid bd for a little bit let's go ahead and get out of here plot a course away from u488 thanks for the fuel thanks for the torpedoes what did, torpedoes did they give me it's like two g7a's so uh not good not great but like i said beggars can not be choosers i'm gonna go ahead and get some men in the bow torpedo room so we can begin loading those in let's rotate you there we go and let's get that in there there we go perfect and we are getting out of here we're going to drop speed down to uh one third perfect but anyway i plan to patrol around grid bd and really the southern quadrant uh southern center quadrant here Mostly because I was having a look. Actually, maybe not. Maybe just right in the middle here. Right here. Uh, it's a pretty major convoy lane, OAOB. So England to Halifax. Yeah, we will patrol in this area right here, right in the middle and try to pick stuff up. Try to attack one good convoy before we head home to Lorient. This area is gonna be a bit more dangerous, however. It will be covered more by air cover. Uh, that's to be expected as, uh, really, the allies tighten the noose up here. I suppose I could really just shift uh, east towards CF and CE to really attack these convoys coming from uh, Africa to England, but I'm going to try this for the time being. 
this is my plan of action and hopefully it doesn't turn out to be an awful one let's go ahead and use some time compression and get out of here we'll reload up oh, torpedoes already loaded would you look at that right on cue thank you game okay so we're going to begin doing periodic dives and everything uh did they give us more deck on ammunition no we only have 14 rounds of uh 10.5 centimeter deck on ammo we have plenty of anti-aircraft ammo uh if the time ever comes but hopefully it will not okay well that's all i have for this little update i'll continue onward and uh keep you guys updated as we try to hunt some convoys up here in the north atlantic okay it's october 10th 1943 we got an update of a convoy heading west speed is fast which is peculiar and uh intriguing I have a feeling this is going to include tankers. Let's go ahead and draw this out. Speed 12 knots, so that's not, I mean, that's not too fast. I guess it just meets the, the cutoff there. Let's bump our speed up to standard. All right, let's get this hourly sheet up. So in two hours at 12 knots, this convoy will move 45 kilometers. Let's go ahead and drag that out. See where that puts them. Oh, wow. 45 kilometers right there in two hours. So yeah, it's gonna take us two hours and 30 minutes to get there. We will be right in front of them. Yeah, this, this will work. Oh yeah, we'll definitely beat them. Perfect, perfect. We can actually run, let's run full for 10 minutes and that should close the gap even quicker. Side checking, you what's going on here? Hmm, I'm not gonna risk reloading an external reserve, especially this close to a convoy. Um, it's currently, I guess we have plenty of nighttime to play with, which is perfect. I Maybe, wait, do we not? Yeah, the sun is just just setting here, so hopefully it gets a little bit darker and it's not this bright of a night. We'll find out. Okay, so we will chug towards this convoy and I'll keep you guys updated. Actually, let's go. Let's do it live. Let's do the pursuit live. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's drop down the standard. Yeah, so it'll take us two hours to get there. We should beat them nice and easy. This is exciting. Who knows? Maybe I'll even... Oh, maybe we'll even return to Lorient this <laughs> this episode. Well, I guess we'll see. Okay, we're picking up radar signals. That's probably the lead escort. Let's adjust our course slightly. We're still 40 minutes out from uh, their track. Okay, this is... They're a bit closer than anticipated. Let's go full. Try to outmaneuver them. Let's go ahead and hop up here and see if we can see anything up here what's going on yeah I'm not seeing anything just yet we're still pretty far out we're only picking up radar signals from one warship oh <laughs> I am right on cue three okay I think now is the perfect time to submerge the boat what do you folks think yeah, I think so. Per, let's go down to 25 meters, please. Let's get our good hydrophone operators on station. And down we go. Awesome. And down we go. <laughs> it amazes me how long it takes this boat to actually get under here. Okay, now we're good. Let's drop speed. Alright, let's take a listen on the hydrophone. Um, I'm not... There we go. Okay, these are the warships. Zero four eight degrees. There's another one moving slow at zero six four, and really, right beside us. That's another warship, I think. Is the uh, the convoy at 
zero eight zero can go ahead let's turn towards them actually okay there's wow all right moving this is <laughs> interesting all ahead slow let's come up to periscope depth medium speed closing zero zero five okay we already have their speed their speed is 12 knots due to our radio report from earlier we're plugging that in 12 knots we are currently at periscope depth scope up let's see what we have here no visual okay i got a pop-up there's a warship destroyer and it looks hunky uh, not something I really want to tangle with. Scope down. Oh, he's freaking close, too. I don't like that. Down to 25 meters. Heard for silent running. It's probably two to three kilometers out. Probably closer to three at the moment. If this guy picks us up, we're boned. Let's drop speed down. Let's try to get 50 RPM. Uh, did I just get... Okay, I thought I read a message that said enemy is pinging us, and I was... <laughs> already? Let's make sure. Yeah, running at a, just over 50 RPM. Thank you. Nice and slow. Lay low, boys. Alright, this is a moment of truth. Hopefully this guy will pass right over. This is our escort friend at uh, 330 right now passing right alongside us oh boy this is tense all right he once he's at 270 all right up to periscope depth okay he's passed perfect periscope depth let's increase speed to just one knot to make it easier to maintain depth I do not want my conning tower breaching the surface it would be disastrous Hey, we're in the thick of it now, boys. Okay, I'm quite pleased with this uh, infiltration thus far. Okay, 13 meters. Up scope. Let's see what's right next to me. There's a destroyer. What is that? That's a good looking destroyer. <laughs> That's for sure. It's interesting. What's going on back here? Okay. Uh, we have other priorities. Small merchant ship. Whoa! Hello! Troop transport. That's why it was moving so fast. I I don't see anything else. Hopefully there's nothing juicier than the troop ship. Okay. Yeah, there is nothing juicier than the troop ship. Where are you? It's right beside us. Crap. This is not good. Lock on target. Crap, crap. Um, I might have to give up. I don't think, I don't know if I'll be able to get a good firing solution on this troop transport, unfortunately. We still have all of the stuff that is dead ahead of us. Let's take a listen. Yeah, there's more ships to be had. I don't know if I'll be able to swing around fast enough. Uh, how... Unfortunate, and I don't think I'm in the position to fire at it. it sucks. Let's see. I can completely give away my position and fire by uh, going flank and turning hard to port and getting in a solution, but by then she'll be zigzagging and she'll be moving that as fast as she's moving. She's going to be significantly farther away. So I say we hold position. Oh, what the hell is going on back here? Ah, man, that is sucks. If only I knew that was there. I didn't really get a good chance to look at the combo. This ore carrier is doing something awfully funky. I really want to investigate what is back here. Look at all these warships surrounding this thing. This convoy is a 
disaster, put it bluntly. Okay, we have another warship. What is this? Should I attack the war carrier? I think I'm gonna bid my t hold and see what is behind here. What is closing? Yeah, let's continue to hold position. If need be, I'll re-engage, but I am curious to see what is in the rear section of the convoy. Could be in, we have a destroyer escort closing in on us. It'd be something else pretty juicy or just some, some other junk. Yeah. Let's see, can I make anything else out? Uh, nothing else just yet. We have another ore carrier. I might just have to settle for that. Or I, I can hit this ore carrier and I can come up back around and re-engage that troop transport. I wonder if the ore carrier will crack in half with just one torpedo. Hmm. I can hope. Okay, let's begin our turn. Let's get set up for this attack on the ore carrier. Or carrier zigzagging. Lots of warships about. That's why I was curious to see what these guys were, but... If I can't see them by now, I'm not... Okay, rudder and midships. Angle on bow is going to be close to that. Speed 12 knots. We'll get range momentarily. Or carrier, I want to see... Make sure nothing in the ladder, the uh, rear section of this convoy is worth firing at. Okay. Doesn't look like that. They're they're small. Okay. Lock on target. I think I'll shoot two. I think I'll try to shoot two here. Okay. AOB is like so. Ship. I'm gonna have to do this fast as heck. All right. Rapidly click. Rapidly click. Or carrier. Or carrier. I could manually input the range as well, but 7,000 tonner, not bad at all. I think I'm going to re-engage. I can't stop thinking about that, uh, <laughs> that freaking, uh, transport ship. Okay. Draft is 6.6 .6 meters. We'll do magnetic pistol, seven meters speed fast. Open tube number four. I'm just going to shoot one. Hopefully it's enough to completely cripple her. Or even break her in half. And we're going to aim right... We're going to fire right at the funnel. Alright. Tube 4. Close. There we go. Tube 4 away. Hopefully that is enough. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Let's see how the solution actually looks. That solution doesn't look bad. Torpedoes running to target. I think we have a, a hit here. It might hit forward of where I was aiming, but let's go ahead and watch it, and then we're going to get the hell out of dodge. I do want to try to re-intercept this convoy, though. There we go. Not a bad hit. She's going down, I think. I think that was enough to put her under. All right. Scope down. All head stand. Uh, let's go four knots. 120 meters. Let's take a look. Yeah, she looks okay, unfortunately. It's not where I really wanted to hit. I kind of thought she immediately went under because of the searchlights, but... Uh, it does look like she's listening to the bow. Well, if we re-intercept the convoy, we can get her again. Let's just try to... All ahead standard we need to drop down 30 meters okay and we are dropping nice and quickly all ahead slow 140 meters please and we will change course accordingly haven't been pinged yet there were no escorts really where we were this is just such a bizarre convoy i must admit I am curious to see what that troop ship was, though. 
Let's go back. It was a one stacker. Oh, we are getting pinged. Well, you look at that. All right, duty calls. It was a single stack troop ship. It's only, oh, this was it, definitely. Only 4,000 tons. Okay, we have other things to worry about. Can you please follow? Follow the nearest warship, please. 235. Well, if that troop ship was only 4,000 tons, I definitely made the right call then. Uh, the war carriers double that almost, so. Hopefully she will succumb to flooding with only one torpedo hit. We have bigger fish to fry. It did not take them long to acquire me. I didn't drop any uh, decoys on the descent either. I don't want to drop them too close to my current position. I'll drop them the next time uh, they're heading flank. We're heading flank, excuse me. So that way I can put distance between me and the decoy. As you would expect, it's not a good idea to really sit on a, a decoy. <laughs> okay, she stopped pinging. Probably indicates an attack run. We're going to wait. There's none in my immediate area. I don't think. I have a warship at 310. I'm not hearing any depth charges yet. I'm going to continue to crawl at two knots as we descend here. Oh. That's a destroyer right above us. All head flank. One hundred and fifty meters, please. And hard to port. Decoy. We'll leave it here. Tiefe, 1, 160 meters. Neue Tiefe, 1, oh my god. They are loud. Rudder and midships. Alright, let's put distance between us and the convoy and the depth charges that were most definitely launched. Tiefe, 1, yep, depth charges in the water. Currently making seven knots. Okay, level out here. We don't want to get too deep. We have to remember we did get damaged. Okay, we have a second destroyer coming behind us. Hard to starboard, all ahead slow. Oh gosh, this is scary. <laughs> I have to admit, this is not fun. Well, let's take a look at our attackers. I, I'm sure they're... Whoa, where are those? Oh! <laughs> this merchant ship sailing right into a old depth charge pattern. Look at that. Uh, this is our pursuer. Buckley-class destroyer. No hedgehog, surprisingly. But lots of uh, K launchers. I really just assume almost uh, every destroyer that's hunting us now has hedgehogs, but this Buckley does not. Thankfully for us. Probably my favorite destroyer escort. Mostly because of the, the movie The Enemy Below. Nice looking ship. 
Okay, well. Derzeitige Fahrt, null Knoten. Rudder and midships. We're gonna work on getting the heck out of here. I'll keep you guys updated. I do not want to go much deeper than 180 meters. Hopefully this one destroyer escort does not force us to go down there because the damage we've sustained thus far, I'm I'm kind of worried about going too deep and crushing and killing us all. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully these guys are not as persistent as the last destroyers we encountered after the last attack. I do want to check up on our ore carrier, however. Um, let's see, where are they? I guess they'd be sand over here. There she is. Oh yeah, she does not look too good. Very heavy list to port and the bow. Yeah, I think she might sink on her own. It will take a while. But I think she will go under. Hopefully we will be in the area so we can actually get credit for this sinking. Okay, well, now the game of cat and mouse begins. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated uh, when we're getting depth charged. Okay, the enemy escort is heading right over top. I'll head flank, change course. This destroyer is very, very persistent. Okay, probably dropping depth charges now. Yep, depth charges on the water. Let's leave another decoy here. Rudder and midships. The weather isn't very calm either, so... Definitely going to make it much, much easier for this destroyer to hunt us. We are very, very lucky. She is not equipped with hedgehogs. Okay, let's get put around uh, 100, 200 meters between us and her depth charge run, and then we'll... Return to silent. I'll drop speed. Okay. All right, down to 50 RPM. Got a hole in the water. Let's listen to those things explode. There they go. They're yeah, they're back there. Not getting shook or anything. We put plenty of distance between us. Luckily enough. Oh wow, this is going to be an interesting one. It's currently 11.10. Yeah, it looks. It sounds like they're high as well. She's not dropping the depth charges deep enough, which is very good for us. Let's see what else. Is that it? That was a pretty small pattern. I was expecting more, <laughs> to be honest. It seems like only one enemy warship was detached to hunt us. Which was the Buckley. I'm assuming that's the one still hunting us. We're hanging out at 160 meters. It seems to be doing okay. Alright, I guess that was it. It sounds like only two or three depth charges were dropped there. So, uh, quite lucky. Maybe it shall run out. We'll see. Okay, so it's been around 30 minutes since our last update, and it seems the escort has broken off and returned back to the convoy. Let's go ahead and change course. Let's make our heading 270, and we're going to continue to stalk the convoy. I do want to keep tabs on that ore carrier and try to see if she was... Uh, let's come up the periscope depth. We can secure from silent running as well, and we can also get men in the torpedo room and begin reloading that. Oh my gosh, everyone's tired. It was quite a quite an intense depth charging. Uh, luckily, no damage was sustained. All right, we're going. We're beginning the reload. It should take seven minutes. I do want to come up to periscope depth and take a look to see if that ore carrier was uh, crippled 
and all is just dead in the water, kind of like that medium cargo we encountered previously, or if she's uh, continued to sail with the convoy with all that damage. Okay, we're currently at 13 meters up scope. Take a do a quick scan. We'll come up to the surface and turn on our radar to see if we can pick anything up. I have a feeling it's still sailing with the convoy. It may drop out sooner or later, but yeah, there's nothing. Scope down, yeah, surface the boat. Up top. Funnel and seeing he can come up with him. I'll head standard. All right, we are surfaced. Get everyone who needs to be on the bridge on the bridge. Get up there, my friend. Get some sleep. There we go. Torpedoes reloaded. All right. Let's turn on the radar. There we go. She's spinning. Absolutely nothing. We're already matching the convoy speed, kind of. All head full. And we are going to head west and try to reestablish contact. I do not want to leave that ore carrier crippled. Hopefully we can re-encounter it. Maybe it'll just be lagging behind. Who the heck knows at this point. But I'm going to continue to track it and hopefully we will re-encounter it. Obviously, they could just change course and head, you know, north-south. I guess east. <laughs> you know, some variation of that. And uh, totally give us the slip. But, uh... We'll, we'll see. We've managed to maneuver in a fairly good spot for a second attack. Um, we are at the front of the convoy once again, so I may take my shots at the troop transport if I cannot uh, see the ore carrier. I may try to shoot both of them, or I may just take shots at the troop transport and re-engage at another time to uh, finish off the ore carrier. Hopefully the ore carrier is still there and did not drop out of the convoy. I made absolutely no contact with any other enemies on my way here. I turned off my radar during the daytime just to avoid any mishaps with that. It's currently 8 o'clock in the morning. Actually, 8.39. So. It's been quite a uh, long chase, as you can see here. The, the convoy is moving fairly fast. Uh, you know, 12 knots. That's nothing to scoff at. And we're going to really just squeeze a lot of bat use a lot of battery power here in an attempt to close this gap and get as close as we can to the cargo ships hopefully I'm not too far away to uh, make this happen I use some time compression okay all ahead slow let's turn towards them I wonder if one torpedo will be enough for that troop transport. I'm probably not going to chance it. I'll probably launch two torpedoes just to really finish her off. Up scope. See if I can make anything out just yet. We're still pretty far away. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything just yet. It's going to be... Still have some time. Okay, apparently we can see a, a warship. Okay, we can see two warships. Let's take a look. And lower the scope a little bit. Okay, here we are. Okay, we have a flower class corvette, a destroyer, ore carrier, and there's the troop ship. Okay, that is target. There's an ore carrier. Warship, and the ore carrier we attacked was in the very rear. Uh, there were two small freighters and then the ore carrier, which I cannot see just yet. Another ore carrier there. Let's go ahead and identify the troop ship. Where are you? I do believe it was the troop ship I identified previously. I was taking a look at all the American destroyers while I was getting depth charged. Just to see uh, what's going on in there. Uh, I went the wrong way. Oh, uh, Maybe this is a... a I guess it's an American convoy, right? Oh, well, all the merchant ships are in here. Troop ship? 7,000 tonner? That's not it. Troop transport now. Ocean liner, ocean liner. Large troop ship. Large passenger cargo. 
8,000 tonner. That's not it. I think it's just the uh, 4,000 tonner. Yeah. I think this is it here. 4,620 tons. Okay. Block that, plug that in. Looks like this might be a fairly long shot. Might have to fire outside of the convoy. I'm gonna fire once this escort passes my, uh, in front of me. I'm fleeing. Does not spot me. The range is gonna be pretty freaking far. This is gonna be a long shot. Let's see if I can see the ore carrier. Still nothing back there. Wow. frustrating. We're going to shoot a salvo. Actually, no, we will not. I'm going to shoot tubes three and four here. This is all sorts of weird. Oh, we'll shoot tubes two and four. We want uh, pretty much no, a very little spread here. Actually, we'll do almost no spread. Just try to establish range. Three kilometers out. Okay, we should be able to launch these torpedoes at fast speeds in that case. Angle and bow, so. Speed 12 knots, perfect. Let's set up our fat. Yeah, it actually looks uh, pretty good. Yeah, it should be sufficient for our purposes. Draft 9.4, do 10 meters. Break for silent running. And we'll let this ashore pass right over us. Ah, it's pinging me. Periscope depth. I lost it. scary okay where where's the troop ship let's go down crash dive let's get the fuck out of here oh Buddy, that is close. Fast. We need to get under fast, fast. Rudder amidships. Okay, hopefully we can get the heck out of here. Okay, she's coming at us. No? Those pings are loud. 30 meters. 31, 32, 33. Four. Get ready, boys. Okay, she's coming alongside us. 50 meters. Sixty. No, we got to keep going. As deep as possible. Do not level out at 70 meters. 
All right, she's right over the top. Let's check those eels we launched. Does not looking good for us. All right, right astern of us, another one's coming. All right. Let's drop down to 160 meters. All right, that charge is exploding. Slow down, 270, a new course. Actually, 090. Let's get the hell out of here. What happened to my torpedo there? I guess it's zigging around, huh? Yeah, it is. Both torpedoes missed. I am curious to see how they are doing, however. Oh, we have one torpedo right here. This is just a G7A. And our second G7A, I think. It's just zigging around. Yep, there it is. Circling around, as you can see. Oh, it went right under that small merchant ship. We still have a chance of uh, hitting the ocean liner. I can't say I'm too optimistic about those prospects, however. Yeah, that was a total waste. Okay, another one's coming over the top. We are being hunted by three. All ahead standard. Drop a decoy. Right over the top. I'm going to continue my turn here. I'll head slow. Down to one knot. Decoy's not available. I'm out of decoys. That is not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think my torpedo is going to end up missing, unfortunately. What a what a shame. Eh, yeah, I should not have snapshotted like that. Uh, especially uh, in broad daylight with uh, steam propulsion torpedoes. It was just asking for failure. I am curious, though. While we're out here, I do want to see that ore carrier is out and about. Yeah, I don't even see it. The ore carrier we hit earlier. Guess it's not... <sighs> Okay, one's coming right over the top. All ahead full. Let's change course. One, two, zero. Rudder and midships. Let's drop down to 180 meters. All ahead slow. Let's bring it down to like 50 RPM. All right, this is going to be interesting. Uh, another cat and mouse game. I'm not getting pinged, but there is a warship moving pretty fast near me. Looks like it's this guy. It's just going to be a whole rinse and repeat thing here. At full. Get out of the way if it's charges. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting, folks. I'm going to go ahead and cut now and keep you guys updated as we try to escape the jaws of death here. Hopefully we will be able to do so. And we're diving pretty deep. We're going to hang out at 180 meters. We're not going to go much deeper. So it's been just over 30 minutes and it seems like the Allied escorts are breaking contact. These two ships up ahead are the last component of the convoy. Uh, these are the two small merchant ships, I believe. 
that I that were accompanying the ore carrier that I shot at at the beginning. Uh, we are not getting contact with anything else here. I'm just going to go ahead and use external camera to take a look at them. Yeah, these are the two small merchant ships. And the ore carrier is no longer with them. I do think... Uh, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure the ore carrier did go down. Uh, we just were not given credit for it, unfortunately, because we were not in the area to record it. But uh, this is proof that it did eventually succumb to flooding. Unfortunately, we won't be able to claim that kill. It is a shame about those... I shouldn't have snap-fired those torpedoes. I figured it's... <laughs> Better now than ever, since that destroyer was barreling down at me. I just wanted to get them off and just a chance. And as you can see, the fat is not perfect. It was digging around and uh, failed to find a target, unfortunately. But thankfully, we escaped with our lives once again. That was pretty brutal. All of those destroyers were <laughs> sticking to me. We're getting two more merchant ships. Periscope depth. Maybe the ore carrier's here. Oh, what a way to end the episode if he is back here just limping around. Let's come up to periscope depth. I really thought those last two were the, uh... Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh man, this is going to be a long episode, I think. I know you guys don't mind that, but, uh... Still, you know. <laughs> Alright. Up scope. I'm excited. Hopefully this is our ore carrier. And this whole episode wasn't a complete disaster. What are you? A small merchant ship? A small merchant ship. No ore carrier. Damn it. Um, that's unfortunate. Neither of these uh, little ships are worth my time. I kind of want to retrace my steps and head due east along this track and try to locate the ore carrier during the day. Um, so we'll do that actually. It's uh, quite a long journey, but I'm going to do it just, just in case. Uh, she's just dead in the water and we can actually claim credit for her, but none of these guys are worth my time. I am not re-engaging that convoy. <laughs> it's really not worth it at this point. So I'm going to cut now. And before I end the episode, I'm going to sail along here and try to find that ore carrier. If I get here and it's not there, I'm just going to presume it went down and it's not just dead in the water. Well, I spent the whole night ser searching for that ore carrier on the surface, zigzagging around this course. And yeah, no, no joy, unfortunately. So I am going to uh, consider it uh, sunk. <laughs> just for me but uh and in terms of the game we are not going to get credit for it but that is okay wow what an episode lots of uh lots of exciting and super tense moments getting depth charged there but and uh i'm gonna try to keep this outro nice and short since the rest of the video has been pretty long so i do want to thank you all for watching as always this is wolfpack345 signing off and i'll see you guys on the next one let me know how the mic sounds as well before i forget um like I said, it does need some fine-tuning, but I am curious to see what you guys think about it. Anyway, that's all. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later.